We are vlogging today. I know it's been a while, but first, let's go get some caffeine. Toby, you wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? You know we're early when we get parking in the lot. Where else would we be on a weekday morning? It's 7.40 and it's pretty early, but Ryan usually likes to get out and get coffee in the mornings, but I feel like it's too early for me to have caffeine. I like to like sip it when I'm actually needing the energy like around that midday slump like two. Um, and my new favorite energy drink, maybe I'll drink one today. I haven't drank in one in the last like couple days, right? No. Yeah. Yeah. We're afraid that I was starting to get addicted. But my sister left me these Alani new drinks. They're the only energy drink I've tried that doesn't make me anxious, which is like insane because I feel like everything makes me anxious except for Diet Coke, but I don't know. What do you call that energy drink? It's caffeine. Yeah, but anyways. Um, I just like to come and get out of the house. So me and the followers want to know what's so great about Fletch coffee and why do you get it every dang day? Damn. I don't know anything about coffee, so I'm like, how is this? It just tastes good. So it's good. maple latte and put a little bit of maple syrup in there. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like the coffee is a little bit bitter, which I like. Mm -hmm. but it's not like burnt. Like Starbucks tastes burnt. Mm. This does end, but it tastes a little bit more bitter. And then they put the oat milk and the um, maple syrup. Huh. It's just so good. So if he likes it, right? Tastes good. Sure, you tried it. Did you like that much? <laughs> oh, 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 she is. Do you taste like um, the milk at the bottom of Fruity Pebbles? Hmm. That's usually what my matchas taste like if it like, has lavender syrup in there. If you guys are new, I don't drink coffee. The only coffee I drink is Summer Moon because it's like this much milk. And then Starbucks, um, the white ice ice white mocha which is also a lot of milk um but i prefer an ice chai i like ice chai I forgot to put my Apple Watch on and I saw in a TikTok kind of a while back that if you put this watch on your ankle it counts your steps more accurately because you know my hands are barely moving up here so I just turned on like an open goal workout and then I'm just gonna slide it over my ankle which I really need a new um strap for this i stretched this one out so bad i just need to get like a velcro strap so it's easier to put around my ankle and then i can you know tighten it on my wrist and that way i don't have to like change the bands every time because it's kind of annoying to do so and i am editing the rest of my new york vlog like we went to new york i don't even know like a month ago now it feels like it at least and i still haven't edited it like i've been so bad with my posting on YouTube. You guys probably know if you have been, you know, watching my vlogs for a while. In the past, I was really consistent with weekly vlogs and then life just got kind of crazy that I couldn't really keep up with the editing of it all. It's really hard to get back into vlogging when you take like a day off or like just a little tiny break. You forget to bring your camera around. You forget that you're even vlogging that day and it just doesn't come as natural. Like even if you have 
such a small break of it. Um, so what I'm trying to do today is to kickstart the vlogs because I miss it. Like I miss vlogging. I just feel like the editing is so draining for me because I don't really have much time to edit. Um, so it's kind of like a dreadful thing. Like if I vlog, then I'll have to edit it. You know what I mean? I honestly just need to be more consistent and like hold me to a posting schedule, which I used to post every Sunday. But that just kind of like got off track because I would leave the editing till the weekend. And then I'm like, why should I be working on the weekend? So anyways, we're here editing my video and we're gonna walk a little bit on the treadmill finished editing the video and I'm just gonna upload it to YouTube. I think the other hardest part is just making the thumbnail and like the title and stuff. I mean it's not like hard but also kind of really important because that's what makes people click on a video and I know I'm not the best at making great thumbnails for people to click on because my views have been really sucking lately but I am gonna make a smoothie. It is 11 o'clock and um I actually had two shoots today scheduled, but one person canceled, um, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Life's going to go on. Um, so that one was the evening one. So that's why I'm kind of like okay with it because now I have my full evening to myself and I'm excited because I'm going to be cooking pasta for dinner tonight and I got beef. So we're going to be adding a little protein in there too. And I just feel like it's going to be a really yummy dinner. <laughs> I'm already looking forward to it. You can probably tell I'm very hungry right now. Um, I was watching my friend Nagin's TikTok, I think, and she said that she puts frozen spinach in her smoothies. And I was mind blown when I saw that because I buy like packets of spinach and usually one third or like half of it goes to waste because I don't use it in time, like all of it. And I really like to add this in my smoothies because I feel like I can't really ever taste it. And it's just like added nutrients. So this was just like so smart of her. And I bought it yesterday and I wanted to try it out today. And then I'm probably just gonna do like strawberries, pineapple, banana. I just kind of like do a hodgepodge of things that I have in the freezer. Um, but I also think I'll probably add some protein powder. I haven't been adding protein powder like for the past month or so. Um, there was a point in time where I was drinking the protein powder so often that if I didn't have it in my smoothie, I would like, it, it just like wouldn't taste complete, which is funny. Um, but I want to kind of get back into it just so I don't have to have a heavy breakfast and also like cook a heavy breakfast. I'll probably have some like prosciutto on the side because I love like a sweet and savory combination. I have a shoot at 12. It is currently 11.10 and I really wanted to try to get ready before it um, just to be ready for the day. I'm not sure if that is realistic, but we're gonna try to eat quickly and then just put on some makeup I and mean, my hair is pretty much already straight. Last week I did a newborn session and they wanted me to do some more photos of them and some other family members. So I'm going back to their house today, which is a good feeling when they want you to come back, you know, because you did a good job. I already feel so productive getting that YouTube video edited. Because let me tell you guys, it's been like a weight on my shoulders just knowing that I have a video to edit. And I don't know why, like, I just feel like sometimes I dread the editing process. And yes, I could hire a video editor and I have in the past, but I don't know, like giving up creative control is really hard to do. Number one, number two, you think you're going to like sit back and relax, but you kind of have to train them to like get to your style and aesthetic and just like the way you edit your videos. So there's not a huge difference of when they actually take over versus when you edit your own videos. Also to be very transparent, I don't really make that much money on YouTube, especially if I wanted to hire a video editor, like it would be coming out of my own money. So it just really wasn't worth it for me to be spending that much on a video editor. So that kind of sucked because it was very nice when it, they finally got the you know swing of things and then I could actually create the content, like I could create more content and then they just edit it and it's just like done like that. It was very, very nice. So I'm definitely not knocking it for the future, but for now, editing is no joke. Like it really takes a lot of time. I always make the mistake of making way too much for smoothies. So I just put some for Ryan in a cup. And like most of the time he 
isn't really craving a smoothie when I make it, so I'll just put it in the fridge for him. And this is where I realized I didn't even put protein powder in it. And I don't really feel like putting it back in the blender, so I guess we'll just do it without. You know what time it is? Taste test. So good. Like, so good. I barely taste, well, actually, I don't even taste the spinach. Almost done with my smoothie, and now I'm just packing up my camera bag. I use this camera to shoot for my photography business, and then I also use it for vlogging, so maybe I'll take some clips on my iPhone for you guys. I am back home. I didn't get any footage because it was a newborn shoot, and there were so many family members around. I definitely would have gotten a clip or two if it was just, like, the couple and the baby. I... I'm going to eat this beautiful sushi roll that I bought at H-E-B yesterday that I totally forgot about. Um, so this was a very nice surprise. It is currently 1.30 and I have this like mental thing where if I don't put on makeup before noon, I'm just like, eh, what's the point? <laughs> Especially because we have so many hours after daylight savings time, but something in me is just like, it's just not worth it. Like I can't film, but obviously i probably can i don't know i feel like i should make today an admin day and like do a lot of editing since i got like one video down or maybe i'll just save it for tomorrow that way i can get in my steps for tomorrow um so we'll see about that but i feel like whenever i actually put on the makeup like it really doesn't take that long at all and i might film a tiktok while i put on my makeup so that could be an option too i'll keep you guys updated after i chat on on my sushi roll Finally got the video posted and I have one video more to go. I have a supporter haul that I wanna put up and edit. I already filmed it, so the hard part is over. I guess I feel like that's my easy part. <laughs> the editing is really the hardest part for me. Um, but we are gonna go to Costco and Ryan wants like to get golf gloves. And could be dangerous, y'all. Could be very dangerous. Basically, he was just like, I need to go in quick and get out quick. And I was like, no, we need to have a little Costco party. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I also have to pick up my lens at Precision Camera. I think I dropped it off in like, what, March or February? And it's yeah. now May, like late May. Or something. Huh? I thought you ordered a new one or something. No, I probably should have. It took so long and it's like, I have to pay a good amount to get it repaired well it's already re repaired it's ready for pickup but it took so freaking long literally all of grad season it's not the lens i use the most but it's definitely one i gravitate towards like i think it'd probably be my second most used so that kind of sucked not having it it's my 50 millimeter so i was gonna buy a new one but then i was like you know what let's just get it repaired it's definitely gonna be a lot cheaper i decided to pull out the little camera this used to be was it my first ever vlogging camera? I think it was. So this is the Sony A5100. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but they do make ones like this. I actually bought it on eBay, so you could probably still buy it on eBay. But it's very compact, and I'm trying to like pinpoint the reasons why I don't like vlogging, why I dread it sometimes. Number one is the bulkiness of my camera right now because I vlog on the Sony a 7 4 and this one is just so much smaller and especially when i'm going out in the public i feel like i am being stared at because i have this huge camera so if i have this little thing i am more willing to vlog like i'll vlog more and then i won't be embarrassed so we're gonna try it out we'll just bring this along the only bad thing about this camera is that the battery like lasts for two seconds at least i feel like it does i always have to change it out so i literally have a bag of these batteries i don't know if you can see it but it's filled with so many of these batteries so whatever at least these are all charged i believe um from a trip that i was going to take it to our house looks like a freaking sports sports what's it called sports academy what was it used to call be called no, babe, the one, the one that we like would, oh, Sportsorama. The best part about 
any grocery store is the frozen aisle in my opinion. But it's not like we have a whole family to feed. And I know it's Costco, but I wish all of this wasn't so big. Cause I'm like, well, number one, we don't even have a big enough fridge or freezer for all of this. So I guess I'll just look for now. Oh my gosh, look, they have pressed juice. Wow. Fourteen bucks. Really like seven dollars for one. And, and, uh, Hopefully yeah. they're just as good. Just a child in a playground. Last night I was at my friend Shireen's house and she had this saffron tea. She's Persian and she made this really yummy tea. I saw this and I was like, what the heck? I sent her a picture and she was like, that's not a bad price for that. So it was like $9, I think. So I'm excited to like look up on TikTok what I should even do with saffron. We're trying the press juice in the parking lot. <laughs> we actually ended up getting it because I was like, wait, that's so cheap. good. Yeah. It is really good. Too. I like it. It's better than their ice cream. <laughs> yeah. I have some beef with pressed ice cream. I think it's called pressed freeze. And I just, you know, it's, it's hard not to fall for cute packaging. And all these influencers are like, oh my god, it's so good. But it's like actually so not good. <laughs> I was so disappointed. It's like icy. Really, really not good. Don't lock your keys in there. What? Don't lock your keys in there. Can you give me the cap? Do you have the cap? Oh. Around the way you ride. I'm glad we got this. Mm -hmm. It was like $8 or $9. Like one little pressed juice thing at pressed, you know, the to go ones, would definitely be like probably $10. I'm like so shook that it's that price, but hey, I'm not complaining. We love a Costco date. We're going to get my lens. I'm making pasta tonight and I decided to add on a little bit of protein. It's just some beef and then we have some this kind of pasta. And I think we're gonna do this sauce. And I have some heavy cream, so I might add a little bit in there. Happy Friday. We are about to go try on my boots that I dropped off earlier this week. I don't think I vlogged it because I just started vlogging yesterday. But basically, Freebirds gifted me a pair of boots and I absolutely love them. They're really, really tall though. And in, you know, it's in my jeans to have really, really big calves. I didn't think that my calves were like that big, like abnormally big. But whenever I try on boots, I get really humbled because I'm like, why does nothing fit over these freaking calves? When I was getting the boots, she was like, yeah, they're gonna stretch. I've been struggling to even get them on without being in so much pain. So I decided to like go take them to the boot store um, and they would only like stretch the toe part, like how wide it was, not the calf part, which sucks because then I had to take it somewhere else. But I found this place on like Yelp called the golden slipper and they said that they were able to stretch it so i'm gonna go try them on hopefully that works i think it was around like 30 bucks to get them stretched but if that doesn't work then he'll have to like actually take apart the boot and like add more material maybe i'm not really even sure hopefully we won't have to do that so i can just like take them because i've been wanting to wear them i got them like maybe a month ago or something maybe a little over a month ago and i've worn them maybe once or twice but I really don't think my calves got any bigger, so I'm like really confused. It just like is impossible to get on now. So I'm glad I can finally check that off of my to-do list. I'm gonna get my boots done too. Got these from Allen's and they are too narrow right here. Like the instep of my foot gets stuck. So let me see if they can cut them and restitch them. I love these boots, so let me save them. Country boys in their boots. <laughs> We 
you got it on. Oh, I feel like it's still really tight. So it's up in here. I was so hopeful that they would fit and I would be able to take them home today, but it was still such a struggle. And yeah, we had to leave him on the stretcher. He said, come back Wednesday. So hopefully they'll be good enough. He wants to stretch the actual boot, like the shoe part, not yeah. the shaft of it, you know? Yeah. He argued with me a bit, so I trust him. We'll see. <laughs> hopefully it doesn't make him too big. Yeah. These are pretty like stretchy and actual shoe part, but the getting them on is so hard. And all. Why we got big feet and calves? God bless our child in the future. Mm -hmm. Club feet and hairy. <laughs> very hairy. Ryan's off work for the rest of the day and also Monday, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I thought we could get a little sweet treat or just something as a little reward. And there's this new um, boba tea place that opened up in East Austin. So we're going to go try it out. We got home and I ate some leftovers from last night. That pasta is probably gonna last us like four to five days, especially because Ryan didn't eat it. He got food out and I was just like, you know what? I have to eat the pasta. Like it's just, you know, it's gonna sit there and then it's gonna go to waste if no one eats it. There's still so much more. I don't know how many more days I can really truly eat pasta, but it's pretty good. It's very filling. I really wanna get back into sharing more fashion content. And I feel like I always shared like fashion collages. And actually I had an assistant last year that helped me put these together. Like I would kind of just like find the links to everything and then she would screenshot, remove the background, put it in a nice cute aesthetic collage. And that was very, very helpful. Now I have Canva and I just thought I would try to do it on my own. And they have a bunch of templates that you can use and kind of customize. I pretty much took like one template and then added stuff from the other template. I loved this little checkered background and I don't know if you can see, but there's like some plaster texture behind it because I felt like it needed a little bit more, but like how cute is this? I know this one looks a little bit cramped, but this one, wait, this one, yeah. This one is so freaking cute. Before I did Canva, I used to take every image into like Photoshop and remove the background, but now you can just click the image. Well, if it had a background, you go to edit photo right over here. And then all you have to do is press this and it will literally remove the background. It says background remover. And it is so freaking cool. I do pay for Canva, but I think it's so worth it because the amount of freaking templates you can choose from and the graphics and like the little elements is insane. And yeah, if you guys are in the creative industry and don't already have like a subscription to Canva, it's so freaking worth it. So I've been doing that. And now I'm going to go into Lightroom and start culling through the photos that I took yesterday at the second newborn session for the same baby. It was just the other side of the family wanted some photos with him. So they called me back, which was so fun. And yeah, I'm just going to cull through these. That might take a while and then I'll probably go ahead and edit all of them. I try to edit as fast as I can and today is definitely way more chill than like any other day, especially grad season. It was like go, go, go. Some days I get lucky and I can like deliver the photos like the day after because I personally don't want it to just like sit in my like editing queue. Like if I have the time, I'll get it done fast. So I'm going to try to get these done by today just so I don't really have to worry about it through the Memorial Day weekend. Morning. It is Saturday and we are up early. We're gonna get breakfast. I think we're gonna try a new place and it's not like new to Austin but it's new to us um, and it's called Picnic so we're gonna see if there's a wait. Hopefully there's not and then we'll go eat there. First I'm gonna show you guys my outfit of the day. Um, top is from Amazon. I absolutely love this bodysuit and I've been meaning to do a video on different ways to like style this bodysuit but today I paired it with these Amazon um, linen pants. I believe they're like men's linen pants but they are so comfortable and just gives very cool girl vibes. And then I don't know about the shoes but I'm kind of loving the furry Birkenstocks right now. Um, um, and I'm still not really sure what purse I'm gonna do, but the hair is up. I'm actually getting it cut and colored today, which I'm super excited about. I honestly don't remember the last time I got a haircut slash color. And you can see that my black dye faded at the ends because that's like the bleached part. And like all of this is probably my natural hair since I've been growing it out for 
pretty long time so far. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to dye it all in one color again, get it cut, get some more layers for the summer. I just feel like it's getting a little bit too long and there's just so many dead ends. Like it's really, really bad. <laughs> Matcha and Ryan got nice latte with maple syrup. Yeah, mine has maple syrup too and coconut milk. So let's do a taste test. Cheers. It's a little bit sweeter than flesh, but it's good. It's pretty good. I think I need. I think I want it sweeter. I might ask for it a little bit more maple syrup. <laughs> I'm getting ready to head out for my haircut and I'm gonna get like a gloss or dye or whatever they call it glaze um, and go a little bit darker this is what it looks like this is how long it is I had to change my top because I spilled something on my top of course I feel like I always have so many outfit changes throughout the day even the days that I'm not really filming content hey I'm Caitlin uh, we're here at spoken wheel Austin um, today we're gonna go ahead and gloss her up we're gonna do um, just a little gloss to cover up these previous highlights and just help it to blend with her natural. It's also going to add a ton of shine. I'm excited for that. Yeah. <laughs> My hair is going to be looking so healthy again. Thank God. So we're going to start by getting her prepped with K18. Um, we'll just go ahead and uh, dampen the hair just a little bit so that that peptide can get in there a little bit better. Um, and then we'll go ahead and apply the mist and we'll do the mask at the shampoo bowl. What is the mist? Like, what product is that? So, the mist is designed to get through any kind of, like, conditioners on your hair. It's a professional-only product. Mm -hmm. So, this is something that you can't um, get online or yeah. at Sephora. Um, so, this is professional-only. The mask you can um, purchase mm -hmm. uh, here or at Sephora. It's just going to keep your hair so much healthier. Um, I feel like K18 is kind of like the new hat. Yeah. So, um, it's going to get in there. It's going to rebuild your hair from the inside out. Um, and it's going to permanently repair your hair. So. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> Need all, all the help it can get. Yes. And it's cumulative, so you can't overdo it. You'll just continue to reap the benefits. Hi, my name is Tim Patrick. I work at Spoken Wheel Austin. So we've just prepped our hair after color. We're going to be doing a dry haircut on it today. For accuracy, I can manage the density and the length very efficiently. Uh, we're going to take a face framing layer just right above her chin, around lip length. It's going to be very soft. It disappears in straight hair. It presents itself when curled curl her wave. And just a little less than an inch off the length, just to freshen it up for summertime. Right in there. Okay. Perfect. Final product, the face framing. Look at this. <laughs> Shout out to Caitlin and Tim. <laughs> Ryan and I are getting an early dinner. We decided on pizza for tonight. We're going to San Mateo. Fingers crossed that we can get in and we can get in really fast and we won't have to wait. It's 5.30 right now, so we'll see, we'll see. But um, tomorrow is the boat day. I don't know if I told you guys this, but we're going on a boat, like a big party barge on Lake Travis. And I wanna be like prepared, so I'm gonna make sandwiches and like, you know, kind of pack the cooler tonight. And then we have to like drive up there, I think by like 10 a.m. So pretty early morning. So I definitely wanna to try to go to sleep earlier tonight. It is boat day. We're making a mixed drink. We're gonna do Prosecco and pineapple juice. We just finished the press juice. It was so good, guys. Seriously, get this if you go to Costco, but we are pouring it into that little canister. And it's busy. That's fine. Or it'll shake up the whole thing. 
I'm thinking we can just like drink it in the car maybe on the way. And then last night I actually opened, where is it? PR and I got these Margs in the mail. Oh, I got the worst flavor in my opinion. This is a mezcal margarita, but there's like a coconut one in here. Ah, there we go. Um, sparkling coconut margarita. Like, are you kidding me? And my friend, I posted on my story, my friend said these are really good, so I'm very excited to try those. And what else do we need? Water. What? Yeah, yeah, it's right there. Our fridge is a mess. There we go. Can you pour it in there too? Yeah. Or? Boat day! <laughs> this is pineapple juice and Prosecco. <laughs> you need, like a mix? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. And we just brought seltzers too. <laughs> and see what I found? What? what? The tequila onions. So was what was it? It's vodka before oh. and they made a tequila version. Let's see what flavors. Ooh, okay. Yum. Hi! Boat day! You guys look so cute. Yeah, I don't know.